What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode. My name is John Huynh and welcome back to another slice of John's life. We're back again today for another Zoom Zoom update video and I'm going to be showing you guys three, not six actually, three, sorry, three new um, complete sets that I have here with me that I have not showcased and done a proper in-depth overview yet. And those three are going to be Coco, I have Aladdin as well as the Little Mermaid. So let's go ahead and showcase that right now before we go into our um, zoomed in angle of the overhead view. So let's go ahead and bring out our first set right here, which is going to be, you guys guessed it, the Little Mermaid. And then I'm going to see if I can grab Aladdin without dropping everybody. Okay, so far so good. And then here we have Aladdin. Check that out. Isn't that awesome, guys? Really love these two sets. These are complete, so I'm really, really happy. And they all have their tags still, so really, really happy with these. So let's go ahead and put these down, and let's go ahead and show you guys the last one, which is going to be Coco. All right, last but not least, we have Coco. Literally one of my top favorite movies from Disney. So I'm going to say this is probably top five for me. I'll have to go ahead and do a list of movies uh, in ranking order. But obviously for me, Mulan will always have a place in my heart. But Coco hits differently. We'll go ahead and talk more about the movie itself when I get to them. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue to the overhead in-depth review of these characters one by one. All right, so we have all three of our themes that we're going to be talking about today on their plates. And we're going to go ahead and start with Aladdin set first. So on the top, we have Jasmine's trusted guardian. We have here Raj. Check how cute Raj is. I love Raj. I love his cute little ears, the little sideburns of his hair, his nose, and he looks really good. Pretty good alignment right here. His little eyebrows. I love his tiger striping. And his little tail. Definitely the weakest of tails, but really cool nonetheless. Okay, that's Raj. Next up, we have Aladdin's best friend. This is Abu, the monkey. Now, if you guys notice, his nose is a little bit crooked. The sewing is not top notch right here, but Abu is still cute, by the way. I love his little mane right here. Really cool. And this curved little tail, and his little jacket, and his hat. His hat's a little bent down, but he is wearing his hat right here. You can see the little purple detailing. And then nothing underneath. Next up, we have a Sultan, Jasmine's father. And check out his elaborate little hat. Really, really nifty. And his really big beard. And he has his little mustache, his big round nose. Check that out. I mean, just look at the coloring on, his, on the feather of the hat. And then here we have a little belt. This is a print on belt. It's not a physically stitched. And then nothing underneath. Next up, we have Jafar. Check him out. And then he also has a really elaborate little hat, his little insignia. And then his face is a little bit crooked, but you know, there he is, we have him. Out of all the characters who have a crooked face, I would uh, definitely choose Jafar. I mean, just look how crooked it is. His goatee is all the way to the right side, or his left side of his face. Um, and then he does have a um, embroidered little belt here. Really cool. Okay. And then, of course, we have Aladdin, the man himself, the myth, the legend, also wearing his little hat up here. And then this is him as a little beggar, little thief, not in his um, noble prince outfit. And then his belt line is also printed on, not embroidered like Jafar. Cool. Very cool. And then, of course, we have a lovely Prince Jasmine. I love the little earrings right here. The, co the color to, to indicate that she's wearing little earrings. Really, really cool. And then her hair with the little, I don't know what to call it, little necklace for her hair or whatever it is with the little jam right here. And then her hair has the little ties, hair ties. And then her belt is embroidered. Really awesome. That's Jasmine. Of course, we have good old Genie. And then check out his beard. He's got a little beard, a little smirk here. And then his little, little hair, a little strand of hair up top. 
And then he does have an embroidered belt. And then, yeah, that's Genie. And then, last but not least, we have Iago. I actually don't know what kind of bird Iago is, but he's really cute. And then he's got his little wings and his little signature tail. Now, I noticed that Iago's design is a little bit recycled. There has been another bird that I reviewed before who had the exact same design. So, uh, it's really interesting to see them recycling designs, but you know, obviously changing up the shape a little bit for the beak or and color coloring of the bird itself. But it's really cool. I love the little blue tips on his wings. Really nice little detail. So yeah, that's Iago. Okay, let's go ahead and put everyone back on board and let's get them out of here, and then we'll go ahead and talk about somebody else. there and, Raj back on top. and then that's our final look at our Aladdin figures or plushes before we move on all right let's go ahead and trade him with the little mermaid Okay, so this is gonna be our Little Mermaid lineup. And of course we have on top, we have cute little Max. Max the dog, this is Prince Eric's dog. And I particularly love Max's design here in Zoom Zoom form. The top of his head, this little fur, this faux fur right here, really soft. I really like that little detail. The material is definitely different from the rest of the body and the ears, so really cute i'm really happy he looks to see he seems to look really good no misalignment issue and then he has a little tongue sticking right here really minor detail but little embroidered tongue is seals the deal for me and then he has a little um tail right there so yeah that's max and then going up right next we have king triton look how angry he looks and then his crazy beard with his crazy hair and his crown is a little flattened, but here it is in his all his glory. Um, I really wish that they embroidered his um, trident on the side, but they did not. And then of course he has his little mermaid fins or flippers. And then of course he only has his hands and no feetsies because he used little flippers, so really cool. And then up next we have a Sebastian and I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly Sebastian's in charge of the orchestra so he's like the main man but for some reason he got uh, his role swapped to being uh, Ariel's caretaker so Sebastian the little crab I love his little crab claws on here and of course he does have a six feet or legs underneath really good detail and there's Sebastian all the way around and then of course we have none other than the wise scuttle who knows everything there is about human beings and what it is to be like them of course with the um dingle hopper and such like that now i love love scuttle he has a little bit of a blush on both sides of his cheek his beak with the two-tone colored beaks his eyes and his little fur on on the top as well as the side of his cheeks and then his little wings and then he doesn't have the traditional tail like Iago, but he has this, this little um, little tail just like Max does. And then his little orange feet. Scuttle. And of course we have a flounder. I would say flounder is almost like an entourage for Ariel. And uh, nothing much to the front or the bottom, but the top. Check how beautiful his striping is. Love the embroidered blue stuff right here. Really cool. And then his little tail. Yeah, flicker. Okay. And then of course we have Ariel and her little star on her hair. Not much to see. I love her little eyelashes on both eyes. And then of course she has a printed little belt line to separate her torso from the leg. And of course she has a little flip flippers or fins. And then two pair of hands. Okay. And then next up we have Prince Eric. Check him out. He looks very interesting. He looks like a little kid. He reminds me of um, um, Peter Robinson, kind of. Um, his little hair going on, his little uh, 
collar right here. They embroidered the collar around his shirt. He wears like a button up. And then no belt line, really. And then, yeah, that's Prince Aaron. And then last but not least, we have Ursula. The crazy rich witch. And then she has so many legs because she's like an octopus. Of course, she has eight. Eight, four pairs. All the way around. And then I kind of wish this um, a, a Little Mermaid set came with her little electric eels. That would have been really nice to have as companions because I feel like Ursula is a bit too lonely with just herself. Um, I don't know if Zoom Zoom has ever released her eels as characters before in zoom zoom form so i'll definitely have to do some research and see if they have that if they do i'll be definitely be on the hunt for them but anyways that's going to be the wrap up of the little mermaid set right here oh my god they're starting to split open come on guys work with me here okay And then let's go ahead and swap this with the Coco. Oh, there they go. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna stop back there. Okay, you guys hang out back there. All right, so this is gonna be our last set right here, and this is gonna feature our Coco set right here. And um, I gotta say, Coco is top five movies for me. I've said that two times already but i really mean it if you guys have not watched coco yet please please do not sleep on that movie it is super heartwarming it brought so much emotions into the movie and i just really really love the movie it's so good and the importance of family and stuff like that it has a lot of really good underlying messages and of course i'm not hispanic i'm not mexican so you know i don't you know share the culture of um day of the dead uh day de la des mortes or however you say it um but this movie definitely hit me in all the right places really really solid film i watched it right before i went uh to southern california for my birthday and back in march and it was a really good rewatch and i cannot recommend this movie enough but hey let's go ahead and continue and smash the rest of this video out but we have the coco characters here on the top we have emilda and she is a the wife of hector and uh this is the river riviera family so emilda riviera and uh this is her in her under underworld or undead version um whatever it is in the afterlife they're called but um, yeah, I really like her dress. Really elaborate with a little nice magenta belt line. I love this little flap right here. I don't know what this is, but it is on both sides. And then this little um, lining around the skirt right here. Really cool. And then yeah, there she is. And then next up, we have Hector. One of the main characters in the film. And then he's wearing his little hat. And then he has like a little goatee right here. And then, of course, this is un his undead form. And then this little striping on the pants. Really, really cool. Next up, we have Ernesto de la Cruz. So this is him in his musician outfit. So if you watch the film, he is a successful uh, musician and he has all this fame and glory. So he uh, dresses the part and dressing all in all silver. He looks really uh, um spectacular there you go that's the correct word and then yeah and then if you guys notice that this is actually a not a disney store release this is actually from a third party in the uk from posh paws you guys can read this little tag right here it says posh paws so this is a third party toy store in the uk that released this and then if you guys look on this tag they have a license official disney license right here so um official disney merch does not carry this license if they're manufactured from disney themselves if it is manufactured from a third party they have to have this sticker to make them genuine so yeah 
Um, I generally don't want to mix up my stuff with Posh Paws because generally the Posh Paws stuff isn't that great of quality compared to Disney manufacturers. But this one seems to be pretty good. And of course, this came with a set already. So I'm not going to go out of my way to get another one of uh, Ernesto de la Cruz. So we're going to go ahead and stick with this. But yeah, that's Ernesto. And then over here, we actually have a second Ernesto de la Cruz, and this is a portrayal of him before he passed away. So this is his musician outfit, nice and blue, sparkly, and this is when he was still alive. Interesting choice to include him in his uh, alive form while the other characters do not. Uh, I really wish the other characters got it too. It would have been really awesome if they did like two releases, one of them in the afterlife and one of them when they were alive. I think that would have been a lot more fun to be but you know can't complain so yep and then this is pepita and i don't know the gender of it i'm gonna i'm gonna assume it's a girl so um pepita is a guardian or a guide or guide for the riviera family once they reach the afterlife and then this is known as a abahiri abahiri or something like that um and uh, yeah, and it's portraying a Mexican folklore art piece of mythical creatures. And this is what uh, Pepita is, a mythical creature. And you know, she she looks a lot cuter in Zoom form than she does in the, the movies. She looks a lot more fierce in the movie. Um, she looks like a dragon kind of. And I love her little horn and her wings. I love her little wings. They feel really soft underneath the magenta color, really nice. So yeah, Pepita. And of course, we have Grandma Coco. And look how happy she is. And then I think these are like little earrings or is this part of her, ear, her hair? I think these are earrings. And then her coat. And then we have the main character, Miguel. And this is um, actually not, he, he isn't dead in the movie. So in terms to kind of not stick out and look like a human boy, he applied a little bit of makeup and powder on his face to, and he made this gold design uh, so he can fit in and blend in with everyone else. So it's really cool. And he's wearing like, a jacket and he's wearing like his hoodie over it. And then I think jeans. Okay. And then last but not least, we have Dante. Now Dante is a stray dog that was living in the village where Miguel lived and um, for some reason Dante was able to follow Miguel into the underworld or um, afterlife and then he got trapped in the uh, afterlife with Miguel and it's really cute and I love his little tongue sticking out he's such a cute innocent little dog really mischievous and then over here we have one of his ears kind of bent over and then they stitched it so you cannot move, remove it or have it stick out like this one. So really cool. His little tail. And that's it. That's Dante tail around. All right. So yeah, that's going to be our Coco characters. And that's going to be a wrap for this showcase. And then we're going to go back to do our outro. Hope you guys enjoyed this overview of every character. And then I hope the camera work is actually pretty decent for you guys to actually see up close and see all the little details that I get to see in person. And then, yeah, get to admire it. So that's one last look of the Coco Zoom Zoom set. All right, let's go ahead and do our outro. All right, so that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the in-depth overview of Coco, Aladdin, as well as the Little Mermaid. Like I discussed, Coco is definitely one of my top five movies that Disney has ever created. I'm actually really curious to see what your guys' top five Disney movies are. You can go ahead and leave that in the comments if you guys can. And then we'll go ahead and reconvene for next time. I hope you guys, again, really hope you guys enjoy watching me talk about my Zoom Zooms as I have started this journey um, in March of 2023. So really new to all of this. And I've been having a lot of fun as well as collecting new emos, as well as munchlings and many, many other Disney merch. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the journey with me so far. And I'm really glad for everyone who takes time of their day to watch my video. It makes, means a lot to me. So anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next episode next time. Bye.